rectangular pocket. Select the F7 icon. Press the Level Cycle key until you are in Level Cycle 2 Rectangular Pocket. Define your pocket. X is the starting point of your pocket along the x-axis and in this example we will be using a value of 3 inches. Y is the starting point of your pocket along the y-axis and in this example we are using a value of minus 2.675 inches. L is the total length of the pocket along the x-axis and we will be using a value of 2 inches. H is the total height of the pocket and in this example we will be using a value of 1.25. The angle must be entered in degrees. In this example, we will be using a value of 0 degrees. The lowercase r in this cycle, we are able to define the radius of the corners. You have the options of square, rounded, or chamfer. To toggle between the options, press the half key or toggle key. In this example, we will be using rounded corners and entering a value of a 0.25 inch radius. Define your machining condition. ZS is your safety distance. This is the amount your tool will be above your starting point before beginning its operation. In this example, we will be using a value of 0.1 inches. Z is the starting point on the Z axis. In this example, we will be using a value of zero. P is the total depth of the pocket. In this example, we will be using the value of 0.5 inches. I is the amount we will be removing depth-wise per pass. In this example, we will be removing 0.25 inches of material per pass, meaning it will take two passes until we get to our final depth. FZ is the penetration feed rate. We will be using a value of 5 inches per minute. This icon selects the coolant option. Define your roughing pass. F is your roughing feed rate along the axis. In this example, we are using a value of 10 inches per minute. S is your spindle speed, and we are using 1000 RPM. Select the spindle direction. T is the tool number, and we are using tool 2. D is the tool offset number and we are using D2. The beta is your sideways penetration angle. In this example we will penetrate into the center of our pocket on a 30 degree angle. This button selects the type of milling, climb or conventional milling. Delta is the step over and in this example we will be using a value of 0.4. Define your finishing pass. F is the finishing feed rate, and again, 10 inches per minute. S is the spindle speed, and we will be using 1,000 RPM. We will be using clockwise rotation, again, using tool 2, and offset 2. Another 30 degree angle for the beta. Climb milling. This selects the finishing pass. In this example we will be leaving ten thousandths for the finishing pass. The N is the number of finishing passes in Z. In this example we will be using only one finishing pass. This entry is the finishing pass in Z. In this example we will be leaving ten thousandths for the finishing in Z. We will simulate the program. And then save the cycle to the part program. 